Okay, we are here. We are live. We some more Pokemon Radical Red. Last time, we started the post game, which uh, increased the level cap to level 100. Uh, initially, I was holding off because I was thinking that there might have been a better way to start grinding levels uh, in the post game. But after thinking about it and doing a little bit of Googling, I think I was confusing a message I had seen about the EV training with the power items, where you just have to get like one EV to get the maximum. So I'm going to spend the first like half hour, maybe hour of the stream just grinding up some Pokemon against the Audino trainer. Try to get some guys to level 100 just to make things more consistent overall. Uh, Bridget's going to chill here in the Discord with us, but she's not going to boot up her game for a little bit. Uh, just because she does not need to grind. Yeah. So we'll just, we'll just see how this goes. Uh, hopefully it won't take too long. I'm not sure yet if I'm going to do every Pokemon or just a lot of them. Or just a few of them? No clue. We'll have to decide then if we want to save Bugsy for a little bit longer, or if we want to like lead with Bugsy, we'll figure it out. I think we should lead with Bugsy. Tempting for sure. Yeah, I'm gonna start with these guys. That's not where the lucky egg is. There's the lucky egg. Like, but babe, we said we were gonna do the that fighting trainer double battle first. We can't change our plans slightly as we go through this. Oh, they're level 90 now, the Audino. They were like 82 last time. Maybe it's based off now. What level my Pokemon are? Huh. Makes things a little easier. Can't complain too much. Oh, we are gonna spend a decent bit of money here. Hopefully I don't need to grind for that at all. Oh, now they're 98. Okay, so is it maybe it's based off what like my highest level Pokemon is? No clue. We'll have to see when I switch some of these guys out if it stays at that level or if it goes down. Hey, I'm not complaining. It makes my life a little easier. The higher level, the better. Mm-hmm. So true. Hmm. I'm gonna give them back the held items that I was gonna have on them, just so I don't have to think about this. Um, I think fewer leftovers. Fewer leftovers. Actually, no, wait. If we're gonna do Bugsy first, there's no reason to give them back. Okay. Let me figure out how I wanna go about sorting all this. I will just do that, and we will make it work from there. And grab these three. Grab good old Flubjub. Beast. But not Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast. He's a mister, and he's a beast. Do you think Mr. Beast evades taxes? Do you think he commits any tax evasion of any kind? Mr. Beast, absolutely. <laughs> you know, it, it just seems it just seems like something rich people do, and he's probably pretty rich at this point. Yeah. Correct. He he does kind of have the face of someone who doesn't pay all their taxes. Yeah. I mean, you know how it is. Yeah, the I'm rich... actually gonna unplug my earbuds while you do this, just because I'm good, because I don't want to overexhaust my not playing. They say the rich get richer. Uh, 
and the Rackmic 100s forget to put lucky eggs on there. Pokemon like a dingus. too much attention to how much money I have. I think I'm fine, but given it's 10k per grind, let's see. Uh... Oh yeah, okay, so it is based off the highest level Pokemon. Interesting. No, Audino is 89. Mm. Huh. I'm like, I wonder if it'd be smart to keep like a level 100 in the party. Probably not. That's an interesting. I'll learn. Be able to get a couple, uh, hopefully to level 100 here. If we're lucky. Take it. Okay, yeah, we're gonna be here for a bit. So what's your plan for waiting? No clue. Matt. I feel I feel the waiting game. I'm playing the the Mash A game, so. <laughs> as thrilling as you'd expect. Oh, I bet. Yippee! Matt. I'm gonna leave it Mel Metal as opposed to Duck Tree, even though it's one little higher, just because I would assume Mel Metal's XP group is much slower. Yeah, because I have a higher level guy. Yeah, I guess if I kind of keep this cycle going, I'll always have like a higher level Pokemon in my party, most likely. Because mm -hmm. the Arduino will be a little bit higher level. It looks like you're just grinding for HP EVs. What? Are you just doing that because it's cheaper? No, 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 it's the same thing. The, the HP EV ones are only level 1. Oh. And they're both Arduinos. <laughs> I just thought you were clicking the HP one, that's why. No, no. Mm-hmm. I probably- I'm just too fast on my thingies. Makes it look like I'm clicking HP when I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> cool I am. You're so cool. We've got a whopping six Pokemon up to or six, twelve to a hundred. Let's go! It only took me ten minutes. Dear God! Yay. <laughs> Although a little bit of that was just getting to the place. 
I was debating trying to make new graphics to try to like put out a commission thing again just to like try to see if anybody would be interested but at the same time I'm at a phase in my art right now where like nothing looks feels like it looks good for some reason no oh, yeah no I totally get that it's just like the being hard on yourself and mm -hmm. I totally get that Uh, so you're better off just going for it. You never know what happens with it. Mm -hmm. I think I'll probably just do it later, just because... Uh, I have yeah, no idea how to format that. Yeah, you kind of have to be in the right mindset, too. I get that. Mm-hmm. Why do I want hyper beam on you? <laughs> You're a physical attacker. After I get the Pokemon that I haven't used a ton yet up to level 100, I'm like, yeah, I might have to... Uh... <laughs> I might have to start prioritizing pretty heavily. Mm-hmm. Just to know who is worth, like, spending all this time to level up. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I'm like, yeah, maybe I do like 15-20 minutes of this at the start of each day or something. Yeah. As opposed to trying to do this for two hours straight. Mm-hmm. Anyone have level 100 there? No. We're close. Everybody but one hitting level 100, that's perfect, because that means the Albinos will stay a higher level. Most of what's in the box of things I need to use. I still need to try to use them. Um... I've already managed to make my thumb a little sore. <laughs> my thumb's going, oh. okay, that's enough. I'm going to bed. Good night. <laughs> It'll be worth it, though. <laughs> Hopefully.
Bum 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 I guess if they were in this first box, it's because I uh, was considering them for the Elite Four team, which means they're probably pretty good. much money anymore anyway. Actually, I probably don't, so... <laughs> Thank goodness. One is more than zero, you're correct. Whoopee, I can count very basically! Yay! A quick save. up to a high level. A couple of these should hit a hundred here. Yep, there's one. Two. Three. Okay, perfect. Yahoo. Bit by bit we go. You're doing great. I know, it's such hard work that oh, only yeah. someone as capable as me could succeed at. Absolutely. Should switch Volcarona to the lead spot. Damn, okay, those are those two guys getting to a hundred. Always, oh, oh, you mean lovely? That one 
Everton. Ninety-six for the next bit, so I do now will be a level ninety-six. Salamence hit level 100. I feel like it's gonna be a 99, isn't it? Yep. This is how it goes sometimes. Yep. Which means Audino will be at a high level, and it means that, uh. That, uh, the, the, that I'm cool. It means I'm cool. You're so cool. I know. I'm just the coolest guy. <laughs> I'm a cool little dude. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> right, is Valkyrie also gonna get level 100? Ooh. No. Should get a decent bit of guys up to a hundred here, hopefully. Very swagalicious. Yeah, I said swagalicious. What are you gonna do about it? Nothing or something. I don't know. Up to you. Oh man. You're learning something at level a hundred. Oh. Oh, uh, nasty. Who's kind of quiver dance? Another a hundo. Okay. Three to a hundred. Take them. in the box. I think over here I want to focus on Some lucky eggs. Dragon in the loop. 
Probably oh, you'd be training a few too many dragon types because it's just pseudos are good. <laughs> that is true. They are good. I'm like, ooh, pseudo better pick that. Level up. <laughs> Level a hundo move coming in clutch. Ah. You're going crazy up in here, I guess. This is Two more done, yes. Sooner or later, I should probably just get Slowbro up because Slowbro has proven to be very good. Very, very good. Even. Like, crazy good. Like, it won me most of the Elite Four matches. Good. <laughs> 96 Ardino is not too bad level wise. And I'm gonna hit 100 here, hopefully. Eh, uh, might be close. Uh, Metagross is the only one, I think, that could. It's just short, isn't it? Oh well. Who's going in the lead? I guess you are. Yeah, let's go, Bert. Bert, 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 Bert taking Bert. the lead. Hoorah! Hoorah! Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Also, with what I was talking about earlier, I guess the father of the girl that Megan's Law was named after, um, it looks like a- Okay, maybe give context real quick to, to chat. Okay, so, uh, there was a song released by Megan Thee Stallion called Hiss, and she has a line saying, uh, you know, these hoes don't have a problem with Megan, they have a problem with Megan's Law. Megan's Law is a law where, uh, essentially, sex offenders are required to register their place of address, uh, very regularly um and this is because there was a young i think it was because there was like this young girl who was like murdered by like a known sex like sex offender or something i don't remember the exact thing but it was like a law the law was in place because a girl died um and so the guy whose daughter died i guess he's upset at the verse um uh-huh and it looks like he might be pushing for a suit of some sort? How would that even work? It's just a law's name. I don't know if it's a lawsuit, but like, it looks like he's like trying to get like, I, I think he just does not like the line at all and is like trying to push to not have it. I mean, Although I people are like, get it. and people are like, you know, that's fair, but also, you know, I think it's funny because people are like, wow, how dare she use that so disrespectfully as if not only did Nicki Minaj take um, the line and turn it into like, you know, make a joke on it instead of Megan's Law. Now it's Megan Raw. Haha, ha, guys, get it? Cause sex. Uh, I'm like, that's the one you're fine with. We're gonna let that one slide. Um, and as if it's like the first, like it's not unheard of that people will reference things. I mean, again, What's, speaking isn't of, isn't it Nicki like Minaj a literal law? Yeah, is it's it... a law's name. She wasn't like dissing the family. She was dissing. 
Like <laughs> I get how I get how yes that could open up a, a bit of a wound, but at the same time, that shouldn't that be the laws? The name of the law itself fault as opposed to the person referencing it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it looks like a. Uh, the father of Megan Conka, who's a case-inspired Megan's Law, tells TMZ that he finds Megan Thee Stallion's use of her of it in her hit song "Hiss" disrespectful and offensive, and that he's considering looking into his legal options. I can't imagine that's gonna go anywhere. I can't even imagine a judge would take that. It'd be like what? I'm like, I'm like, what? Are there any other? It'd be like if you wanna, were like. Talking about Roe v. Wade and you use that in a sentence and someone who knew Roe or Wade in that scenario- Well, I guess- which one's this? One of them's an institution, I'm assuming. Is it? I don't even fucking know. I think so? Uh, but I feel like if someone from that got mad that their name was being used like that, as if that's not just the court name. Yeah, so he's like, if somebody brought up there like, how come just have your daughter- why don't you just have your daughter's name removed from the law? What is she supposed to call it? That's what it's called. <laughs> Yeah. Like, if that's the actual legal- I mean, even if it's like a slang name that a lot of people use, that's more part of the, the cultural, like, zeitgeist than it is. Mm-hmm. Plus, Columbine's been brought up before in rap, too. I think Amber Alert might have been brought up as well. Well, like... Columbine's the school. No, like, the actual event. <laughs> Has been referenced, like, Columbining it up or whatever. <laughs> Oh, yeah, well, that's weird, but that's not- Yeah, I guess that's not an individ- But yeah, that is probably disrespectful toward- Mm-hmm. The- the actual event, but... I mean, I guess... I'm sure, like, 9-11 yeah, like, you know, like, you know, used, sincere like... condolences to the guy who actually, you know, like, I feel bad for the dad. Oh, yeah, for, for sure. They're mentioning, like, at the same time, the federal law is literally called Megan's Law. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it wasn't a diss toward the daughter, it was just- that's the law's name. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, and I feel bad, because, yeah, obviously this sounds like- it, this is something that could open up an old wound. Um, mm -hmm. But, it's not Megan Thee Stallion's fault for referencing it. Because it doesn't even say- like, it's not like it was even, like, uh, being used in a way that was, like, even being against the law. Right? No, she's to- it sounds like she's totally- f it, it, there's nothing about it that seemed like she was disrespecting the law, like- yeah, like, because I'm like, okay, if, if it was her saying, you know, this law sucks, fuck it, or something, like, then I could get more of a, a case. Mm-hmm. Because it's, you know, it is sort of directly disrespecting the the daughter. But, like, I don't know. I'm, I mean, I'm not a lawyer, obviously. So... At that point, you think it sh he should be petitioning for the law to be changed, like the name of it. Mm-hmm. Uh... But yeah, I, guess, I mean, I guess I could see how it's frustrating in a sense that, like, this, this story of your daughter will be used in, like, shitty rapper beef. Yeah. Um, but even then, like, I, you know, I don't know. It, it, I don't know. That's not inherently Megan Thee Stallion's fault for the beef even occurring. Yeah, she and didn't I also instigate, feel like... She's not even really reacting to it, it sounds like. Yeah, I think if anything, I'm like, what if she has to, like, do, like if they're going to take legal action against her using it, are they going to do the same for Nikki, who did objectively use it in a worse manner? Yeah, yeah, and has been the one offended by it. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I don't know. Internet rapper beef is... And, and most internet beef is just stupid to begin with. Mm-hmm. Although I will say, somehow it has made a lot more people aware of what on earth Megan's Law even is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I guess that's a po that's probably a positive. Even if people mm -hmm. basically knew what it was, just didn't know. But anyway, is, is that is that the law's name? Like, well, like not globally, like you, like in the entire United States, or is that just California? 
Megan's Law is the name for a federal law, an okay. informal name for subsequent state laws in the United States requiring law enforcement authorities to make information available to the public regarding, regarding registered sex offenders. That All is right. the public, that is the federal name for it. Okay, cool, because I wasn't <laughs> sure if... Yeah, it was, uh... So I think you had mentioned something about something being California specific, or you thought it was earlier today. That's somebody right. linked it. Somebody linked to the California oh, okay. Megan's Law page. Okay, Sorry, so it probably varies a little bit state to state, but mm -hmm. it's still like the same name and concept. Yeah, so it's it's just it is just called that. I guess like you could technically, I guess, call it a an amendment of the Violent Crime Control and Law Enforcement Act of 1994, but, like, it... Yeah. Well, even, I mean, even if it was, like, the law was called fucking, like, Rule 100, or, oh, like, sorry. you know, I lied. Here's number. the long title. To amend the, vi to amend the Violent Crime Control and Law Enforcement Act of 1994 to require the release of relevant information to protect the public from sexually violent offenders. That is the long title. The short federal title is Megan's Law. <laughs> It's not even like there's just like, I don't know, law number, you know, it's not like it's a, a constitution amendment or something where, and even then, like, nobody wants to, nobody calls it, you know, a, they even, even nobody in, like, referring to women's papers. rights purely, or like voting rights is like, oh, you're going to vote thanks to, you know, fucking constitution amendment 17 or what, I don't fucking know, I'm, that, that probably just offended it's women everywhere, but. <laughs> no, I don't remember the amendment either. Don't even feel bad. Uh, literally, I'm looking at the public law papers, and it says, from 1996, it says, Section 1, short title, This act may be cited as Megan's <laughs> Law. <laughs> that is literally what it says. <laughs> That's what it says in the fucking papers. <laughs> yeah, so... A lot of excuses just go right out the window for something of that nature. Mm -hmm. Also, it looks like it only got instated in 1996. Hey, better late than never. I guess. Hubba hubba. Why, why was uh, that the word I chose there? Maybe not hubba hubba. Sorry, um... Bubba Bubba from Texas Chainsaw Massacre. <laughs> yeah, of course you think of him. <laughs> I'm figuring about 10 more minutes and then I will stop with this. Mm hmm. Because I will at least have solid options, generally speaking. Oh, I guess they even have a different one called Sarah's Law in the. It looks like in the United Kingdom. Oh. Wow, the fact that it had to happen twice in two different countries is very uh, intriguing. Yeah, this one happened like a few, like, it's probably like, like three or four years afterward. Okay. Well, once again, better late than never, I guess. Mm-hmm. You're not fast enough. Just had long enough. It's risky. I don't think anyone's getting to 100 off this one, Rip. Oh wait, no, maybe Garchomp did. Garchomp did. Cool. Uh, I guess there's also two- <laughs> I'm like going down a rabbit hole of finding all the laws named after, like, women. <laughs> there's Claire's Law, uh, also known officially as a domestic violence dis disclosure scheme or similar. Uh, does designate several ways for police officers to disclose a person's history of abusive behavior to those who may be at risk from such behavior. It is intended to reduce intimate partner violence. Okay, well, you know... Uh, Claire's, law Claire's Law is named after Claire Wood, a woman murdered in England by a former domestic partner whose police knew to be, who police knew to be dangerous. Uh. Rip. Holy shit, okay. So there's one called Jessica's Law. Do you want to know what the actual full name of this is? Sure. This is, okay, so this is from the Florida Law. 
an act relating to sexual predators and sexual offenders providing a popular name, amending S. 775.21 FS, revising criteria for sexual pred uh, predator designation, extending period for petition to remove sexual predator designation, creating S. 775.235 FS, prohibiting the harboring of a sexual predator or sexual offender, providing criminal penalties, amending S. 921.141 FS, creating an aggravating circumstance pertaining to sexual predators for purpose of imposing the death penalty, amending S. 947.1405 FS, requiring sexual offenders and sexual predators on conditional release to be placed on electronic monitoring, creating S. 947.1406 FS, providing requirements for electronic monitoring of sexual offenders and sexual predators on conditional release, amending S. 948.30 FS, Requiring sexual offenders and sexual predators and community control or probation to be placed on electric monitoring. Amending S 948.11 FS providing requirements for electronic monitoring of sexual offenders and sexual predators on community control or probation providing an effective date. I think my yes, brain turned off about three, a third of the way into that. Can you re-say that? No. <laughs> no, I'm not fucking doing that. Shut the <laughs> I mean, the brain turning off is true. The <laughs> You needing to reread it is not... Yeah, this one is a, to sum that one up, it was it was a 2005 Florida law, as well as laws in several other states, designed to protect potential victims and reduce a sexual offender's ability to reoffend, which includes a mandatory minimum sentence of 25 years in prison and lifetime electronic monitoring when the victim is less than 12 years old. Yeah, can we just do it for anyone? Yeah. <laughs> but, you know what, I'll take it. I mean, how I think you should at least make it 18 and under, or like 17 and under. Yeah. At least do the legal age of consent at that point. Mm-hmm. Hey, we'll take it, we'll take it. Yeah, I mean, it's still better than nothing. So how many- how many laws are named after men getting violently attacked by women? Good question! <laughs> I'm sure there's one! Maybe Probably. just one! But, you I know... know. Oh, Jesus Christ. Fucking men. Fucking men. Can't be nice. Mountain Gale. Wow. That sounds strong. Don't mind if I do. There's some good level 100 moves I've been getting. Oh, yeah. Okay, on occasion. On occasion! There are good moves! Yep, that's what I said. <laughs> that's what he said. That's what she said. Ha! <laughs> high five. I'm actually a male. You are? I go by he, him pronouns. Oh, I thought you went by he. I can't believe they chose to add pronouns to Starfield. Star I'm gonna Starfield. scream about it. I'm gonna go... Pronouns or whatever the guy does when he gets uh, irrationally angry at pronouns existing. Pronouns. What next? The Enfield. Uh. <laughs> God. I'm gonna stick with for like twenty seconds. No worries. I lied. She should be worried. Ha 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 ha. Okay, we gotta get you one. Reptile is uh, quite low level. Yeah, I think we're gonna start running into it. now that I think that's most of the Pokemon that we had leveled up in prep for possible Elite Four members. We might be starting to run into a few slightly lower leveled guys, but that's okay. Uh, um, I think I got a double chop. The two hitting is always so nice, and the attack drop is always good too, but more power. Especially because I'm- I think if it was on a bulkier Pokemon, sure, but Sceptile's pretty fragile. And it'll still be good when I Mega and just in general, it's decent coverage. Even if it only super heavy against one Mon. Uh, it hits two to five times and it's pretty cool. That's eh, not- that's too risky, I think. It's just not gear- it's just not consistent enough. The speed of boost is cool, but the defense is a little scary, but given it's not consistent, I don't want to rely on it. Uh, did anyone hit level 100? No. Next fight, it looks like. Oh, we've burned through it. A lot of money, and uh, 45 minutes of time. Oh, 
But that's how it goes sometimes. Well, there's a level 100, and wall range should also hit it, I would assume. Yep, perfect. Let me take a quick look. We'll probably do maybe six to eight more mods. If I have to figure out what exactly I want to prioritize. Just so I have a good stopping point. Actually, we have, what, six slots left? We have four mods. Okay, let's see. I had to pick two. Proterra ended up actually being really good. I mean, yeah, there's a lot I want to use, unfortunately. Electrode could be some. Probably gonna have to save some of this for the future. <laughs> I think I can do a little bit each day from now on. I don't really think I'm gonna EV train any more Pokemon up. I mean, maybe, maybe a Sevi Inform or two, just for the sake of having them. But like that'd be the only things. Try a couple new things. Um, there's some hundos. Yeah, hey, there's just there's just so many good Pokemon that I have available, you know. Makes it hard to, to know where and when to stop and what I want to prioritize. Uh, let's see, we have three slots open here. Just a little. I'm not sure what exactly I like need. The Malamar's fun. Addiction, I don't know when to stop. <laughs> Not too many Pokemon have been like super low level. I mean, I was doing a pretty good job of keeping up with keeping things leveled up. Yeah, I mean, hey, at least once I'm at level 100, there's uh, no, no other need to power these guys up. If I get to 100 on everything I have, I could even train a few more things if I wanted to try to use them. Just because it's fun. It's fun to use the variety. I'm just to see what happens. You know I'm gonna hit a level 100 here? I don't think anyone did. Nope, but we should have at least two. You've gone through like 100k. Maybe more. I mean, it was a good cause though. That was making Pokemon usable. Yeah, we're gonna have a Bugsy fight coming up, which we thankfully scouted some of the Mons, so I think we can make it work. I got three to level 100, just barely. Huh. Mm. So we got 
two full boxes of level hundos. Whoops, wrong guy. Okay. Let's see, Musharna ended up being quite good. I feel like Magnazone's consistent. get to use cleavore too too much there's definitely some mons here that we just didn't use a lot of magnazone will now be in the front of the party Let's get it. I think Proterra should hit level 100 here. Nice. Alamar might as well, hopefully. Ah, uh, there's Terra. Yep, Malamar hit it, just barely. Cool! And then, yeah, Infernape will get in a moment or two. Yeah, pretty much once Bridget gets back, I think I will. Oh, I oh. forgot to say I was back, sorry. Okay, once Bridget gets back... <laughs> Give me a few more moments. <laughs> sorry, I was... Somebody was asked, I was taking one of those polls where it's like, of these shows, which one was your favorite as a child? Like, between, like, the... The, the 10 they wrote down or whatever uh -huh. and one of the choices was the wiggles and i wrote the wiggles do you remember wiggles world at six flags nope i never watched the wiggles you no i said i didn't like the wiggles when i was like six with a group of friends right and then they said i couldn't play with them and then i got all sad and cried and the mom had to come be like why are what's going on and i was like they won't let me play with them because i don't like the wiggles Dave, stop laughing. It's a very serious story. I was, it was emotionally distraught. Fuck you, bro. You don't fuck with the Wiggles? <laughs> <laughs> I was emotionally distraught. I can't believe you laugh at that. It's okay. I really love the Wiggles, but then I don't remember who I went with. I want to say it was my mom, but I could be wrong. I just know that whoever I was with, like, they left, but I stayed in Wiggles World, and they found me after a while, I'm like, where'd my fam- where- where'd they all go? And- <laughs> and I'm just like- and so they come back, they're like, why are you still in Wiggles World? I'm like, I want to hang out with Wiggles! And I remember- I don't remember, I just remember, like, that there was Wiggles World, and that I refused to leave it, and then I got lost because of it, because e everyone left me at Wiggles World, because they thought I was with them, and they're like, why the fuck are you still at Wiggles World? I mean, uh, it was Wiggles World, can you get can you blamed? I Wiggle World! <laughs> I, I Wiggle World. <laughs> I struggle so out here in society. I didn't realize it was at Six Flags, I'm like, where the fuck would I have gone to Wiggles World? Like, yeah. I... <laughs> Anyways, the other five shows on there were uh, Gola Gola Island. Mm, uh, no. Never heard of it. Teletubbies. I watched that. Yeah, I did a little bit. I think. Uh, Bear in the Big Blue House. That one's a that one was a big contender. I love that. I don't even know what that is. I don't think. Oh, I gotta show you Bear in the Big Blue House. No, it's okay. Here, I'll send you a gif of the bear. Sure. Is it on cable? I actually don't know. I just remember we had- I think we had a VHS tape of it. <laughs> oh, yeah, that would do it. Oh, okay. I think I've seen it, yeah. I've, I've never watched it, but I- I at least vaguely know what you're talking about. <laughs> the bear was just so comforting. Uh, then we got Barney. I didn't watch Barney. 
I watched a little bit of Barney, but then I remember it was so it was like hip to make fun of Barney, or yeah. like like dream up like songs where you killed him. Oh, okay. Well, maybe not that violent. I don't think. Uh, everybody, everybody remembers the hit song "I Love You, You Love Me." Let's go out and kill Barney. <laughs> Damn. I remember okay. hearing that when I was Haters. like third grade. It was because we were trying to be cool. They were like, "We can't like Barney. We're old now. We're eight. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I said that and I couldn't take myself seriously in the slightest. Uh, then we had Reading Rainbow, which I've heard of and I never watched. Huh. Did you ever watch Reading Rainbow? Don't think I'm familiar with that either. Huh. There was also the Big Comfy Couch. The fuck? Oh, that one's Canadian, that makes sense. Ah! The Canadian, and I couldn't help but let out. Okay, I have seen people talk about it. This is what uh, some of the characters on it look like. What up in a sec? I like, or as I like to call it, Alexa Bliss for the children. Okay, well now I'm just curious. <laughs> oh. What the fuck? Okay, that's just kind of creepy. Not the doll, the human that looks like a hybrid between I a think... clown and a doll. I don't know, it just doesn't work. Man, I can't believe he hates clown girls. Anyways, there's also Zaboomafu. What the fuck? You're just making things up now! <laughs> there was also Between the Lions and Out of the Box, which I hadn't heard of either of those. Nope. Does not ring a bell. Uh, Zaboomafu looks like- okay, there are two guys- Oh, that a... helps. And a lemur. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, it looks like he's on PBS Kids. With the Crap Brothers. Okay, why, why can Delphox learn Mind Blown? The fuck? Why can Delphox learn Mind Blown? I, I don't think that's worth the... That probably does like half my health. If not more. And I kind of like having health. No you don't. Come on. Oh, damn, you got me? <laughs> um. Anyway, I sent you the, the Boomafu guys. It's funny, I know the Crap Brothers, but not from them. I know them because when I was, like, I don't know, like, I want to say like a preteen, my little sister watched Wild Crafts. <laughs> Which is a show that came out in 2011, so obviously you would not know what that is. I just think it is funny that I never once touched the Boomafu, but I knew exactly who the fucking Crap Brothers were because I have a, a, a sister who is in middle school right now. <laughs> I mean, hey, that helps. It does. It made me aware of Peppa Pig, which was kind of a negative in my life, if I'm being quite honest. <laughs> Peppa Pig do that to people, I guess. A fucking- that stupid pig. It pepped its last pig. I'm almost Can't done. Um, if you want to maybe see about start booting up the game and do a quick plan for uh, Bugsy, that's probably the chance. Give me one second. I'm finishing my snack. Okay, no rush. I realize I've been going for just about an hour now. I gotta stop at some point. <laughs> what was the sh what was your favorite show as like a, a really tiny kid? Mm, like probably Arthur. I watched a good amount of. Honestly, at Arthur that went age. hard. I mean, I, I more so remember watching like Scooby Doo, mm -hmm. like that, the Teen Titans show. I just wasn't sure if you remembered, like, baby age. I have shows vague you. memories of Barney and Teletubbies, but nothing significant. Yeah, I was I was rocking with Teletubbies. I rocked with the Booba, which was the Teletubby people, but, like, kind of, like, how do I describe it? It's like if Teletubbies were, like, they they decided to quit their job and instead become, like, the precursor to Coco Melon. That's what Booba was. 
You did say words. <laughs> That's right. Uh, Pokemon's like that one YouTube channel that makes like a bunch of like low effort like jangling keys in front of you like baby content that is absolutely that I think was like proven to like not be good for your fucking kids or whatever. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck they were doing with Booba. I just know that my mom would sit there and watch me watch it and be like, "I, I, this is scary. Why do you like this show?" It, like, as an adult, they creep you the fuck out, and as a kid, I'm like, "Yeah, colors." Yeah, kids are weird. <laughs> me as a child, not scared of the Teletubbies, but scared of the Mummy. Like, come on. Oh yeah, you watched The Mummy as a kid too, I forgot. Yeah. That's how we knew you were meant to be. Yeah, yeah, that we both got scared of, by The Mummy is... That it, yeah, I was like a six when I saw The Mummy, dude. I was not Yeah, I was probably like up. 12. Oh. <laughs> it's still traumatizing me. For... No, actually, I was probably Maybe a, I was little a little bit older. But was... I was definitely below 10 from what I remember. Because this is when I used to go visit a family friend and I had to have been a child. So like, yeah, there's I... no way I was above 10 so i was pretty young watching i was probably around 10 i don't know i'd have to ask my parents. i'd ask my mom too i feel like because she'd be like why the fuck were you watching mummy at that age and i'd be like yeah, I, don't I, think know, I was too scared because of that somehow it like had a chain reaction which in hindsight makes it very fucking obvious i had an anxiety disorder was the fact that i uh i couldn't be on a different floor from my parents without freaking out was the mummy gonna get you? I, I I think so, and I was probably only like I was not only I was probably like ten at that point. Like you think a child at that age would be okay with being on a different floor in their house? Yeah. Um. Yeah, I think the signs had been there for quite a while. <laughs> Just a thought. We bit. Okay. Let's just let me know when you're about ready to start, and we will go from there. Oh, okay. Because once you start it up, I will try to wrap up here. <laughs> Shoot, get out of here. Woof, woof, woof. I get a dog. With the dog barking. No, it's probably like the creature. Ah, yes, the creature. It always makes those dogs go woof, woof. It does. Oh my god. No, I was letting the dogs outside last night, like really late at night. Like it was like three in the morning. Uh huh. And. Because, I mean, I just heard, I mean, it was to the point where, like, Noki was, like, barking and, like, whining and, like, oh my god, fine. So, I go downstairs, and I go to let her out, and I go to let feet out, and I count for both of the dogs in my vision, but I hear, like, something very close to me walking that is neither of the dogs. Um, so I just immediately closed the door, and I went, fuck it, if someone's out there, <laughs> I'm not the first to go, my bad. I am a terrible dog owner! <laughs> I'm like, fuck, if there's someone out there, get them first. They can at least attack you right now. I'm, I'm out <laughs> Somehow here. they're more dangerous, the dogs, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just, I felt so evil, and I was, like, so scared to open the door. I'm like, is the boogeyman still there? Like, what's it's going probably on? probably, like, a fucking raccoon or something. It was unironically probably just a raccoon, yeah. Or a cat or I a just, skunk. I just, or... see, like, I just hear, like, footsteps, but I can't exactly, like, see what's making the footsteps. I went, yeah, I just, like, noped right out of there. I went, mm, yep, that, that's, I, that's yeah, called I can't, I can't blame you. It's probably still the right call just to be safe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I don't even have my bat on me right now, bro. I can't swing. <laughs> I'm out here in, like... I'm like in my jammies. I'm like holding a flashlight. I am not ready to swing. I actually made pretty good progress with this in an hour. I only have about a box left out of the four boxes I essentially had. Or like three and a half, so. 
I can live with that. I'll stick to that. Rematch like Morty or something in the gym now. Oh, beat the game. Um, Marty. We have to wait. check. Fuck it, wait. What do you mean? Anymore. What do you mean, Morty? Uh, the ghost guy. Why would we? Why would we rematch him? We can't rematch any of the other ones. Besides well, Bug. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm just curious. <laughs> <laughs> No okay, actual fair. practical, like, reason. I just picked a guy. <laughs> fair, fair. I just like battling. You're such a battler! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <clears throat> Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. There's levels, baby. Baby. Oh, wow, wow. Alright, what am I gonna name my stream? Rack Mick 100 leveled up his Pokemon to 100. Oh, All right, I'm going live now. <clears throat> Hi, gamers. We're playing the we're playing the game. The game. The game. I don't know for some. I don't know why for some reason I thought you were going for Final Countdown when I know you're going for Saw theme now. What? Hey, let me see. Yeah, let's How much do I want to finish off here? I want to finish off three more Pokemon. Okay. And then I'll just have a nice even box set up. Okay. And then I will quickly plan my team. That will beat Bugsy without any issues. <laughs> Is what I would say if I was way too cocky in my own abilities. <clears throat> it's okay to be cocky. <laughs> but what if I'm cocky and wrong? It's okay. I'll just laugh at you. <laughs> Damn. Okay, I need to bring one... I need to bring the, uh, the token not effective against bug Pokemon, and that'll be, uh, I don't know, Free Marina, I guess. Is that just so you don't have something that's weak to the same stuff? I like how it's token not good against bug and not, like, you know, variety Pokemon or something. Well, because what if he brings something that isn't bug? True, like Magnezone. Oh yeah, fuck, he does bring Magnezone, huh? <laughs> For some reason. Yeah, 
Trying to do like one last Arduino run through. Okay, I'm gonna go uh switch around some items. Go for it. <clears throat> you have shark teeth. Skull lens is good on you. Am Amphorosite. Although I'm probably gonna want Mega Camera up. Wait, what ability does Mega Camera up to have? Um, I'm not actually sure if it's on my head. Let's find out. Mega Camera up to have sheer force. Oh, that's pretty good. Yes. You kind of have to specifically play around it to make it the most valuable, but yeah. Although there's a thing that I should probably consider. Oh, what? I'm a, I'm a bastard. Sap sipper? No, that's grass, though, isn't it? Never mind. Huh? No, I was thinking Gudra. I was thinking Sap sipper was good against bug, but it's grass. Mm -hmm. Well. Let me see. What do I think I want to bring here? It's gonna be good. I'm just bringing shit. He doesn't lead with Magnazone, does he? No, I think he leads with the Pheromosa. Mmm. Oh, the real question is... Who do I want to lead out against, Faramosa? Quad week to flying, so... Well, yeah, but I just don't know what could take a hit. Yeah, true, it is incredibly fast. Unless you scarf something. And I'm pretty sure it has a focus sash, so... Oh, true, yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna lead off with a uh, pre marina <laughs> so I can break the sash. I think. <laughs> oh my mega! Oh wait, no. So, wait, do I? Have to... I do have one. One on you, right? I switch. Okay, I do. Let's see, need. I want to bring you. Bring you because you have priority. Assuming no stealth arcs get set up. Um, but a rock type would be good, probably. Could do Mega Aerodactyl. Um, wait, we have two flying, one rock, two fire. Do we want to get another rock in here, maybe? I could have rock options. <laughs> I might just bring you for the Magnazones. Oh, wait, no, Magnazone, I think, has a air balloon. Mm -hmm. Don't want to bring any more flying to. Right. 
You know what? I think I bring another fire bucket. And then I bring this like a maniac. This is the weirdest fucking team I'm bringing. I don't think it's gonna work that well. Yeah, no, I'm just kind of going in and I'm gonna see what I need to change based on what he mm -hmm. has. I'll do a thing where I just start writing down what he has again. <clears throat> so I know he has Faramosa. I know what she has Beast Boost because all the Ultra Beasts do, and I don't know. Oh, she has the Focus Sash. Uh, she has close combat. And I don't know her other moves. He, she, he also has Magnazone. And I don't know either its ability or item. Okay. So then there's four other Pokemon that I have no idea. Now that I think about this, I have four, po five Pokemon. Okay, wait, no, Shuckles is not gonna work if I'm bringing this team. Wait, hold on. That's too many Pokemon weak to water. I need something else. I need something that's bulkier. Issue is. Actually, you have Hidden Power Fire. That could work. Hang on. Fuck, I'm bringing our own Magnezone. Actually, real quick. Is, sir, is water neutral against a little golem? Because it's electric? No, it's... Okay. Okay, yeah, we'll run this. I think we'll just give leftovers then to Magnazone. I'm gonna do a save. I actually am gonna go really quickly talk to Morty just out of curiosity and then I will fly over there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I know about what? Fermosa Arceus, which has the bug gem. Uh, Magnazone. Oh, uh, Morty's just not here. Oh. What? It's so warm, Pokemon. Look at that growling! Sorry, I'm serious. Serious mode. We have a tough fight. What the growling? <laughs> I'm flying back to Vermilion City. Yeah. Ooh, ha, ooh, ha, ha. So while I get there, another news. Uh, yesterday I finally got the shiny Spheal in Pokemon so Shield. Spheal and Shield. It's, it's a wonderful little guy. Now I got a shiny hunts feel in this game. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, probably won't even be that bad with speed up. Although I would have to feign it, I think, or catch him. So, how confident are you in your ability to win here? Ah, uh, none. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I think I think there's a solid five percent chance I win this. You got this. I mean, actually, it could go fine, but I'm also... Wait, I, didn't, I just realized. I have five Pokemon weak to rock. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Maybe... The... Fuck it, we're balling. We're balling. This is gonna go horribly wrong if there's a rock type on our team. Ready? One second. Oh, I did not think this through tonight. Alright. I'll do one last save, and then I'm ready. Okay. Oh god, I'm gonna get fucked by something with a rock move.
Alright, ahem. Ah, perhaps I've reached my ceiling as a bug type specialist. Oh, hey, hey, my face isn't the player. Huge congrats on being champion. I've gone out and captured some of the best bug types the world has to offer. But I feel as if I'm nearing my limits. Perhaps you can help me find my path to Urobuggos. Urobuggos? I like how this motherfucker's like, yeah, I don't know. I just I just got the, the Arceus. I don't know what to do anymore. Like, oh, woe is you. <laughs> this fucker! Oh, it's also scarfed! No, it has to. No, it, is it faster? No, it must just be faster. Zach, it's sashed. Of course it's not scarfed. Oh my god, it is sashed! Oh my god, it still outspeeds my scarfed fucking... It still outspeeds scarfed salivans. Okay, well I'm just writing down that it had ice beam, thank you. Oh no, that's a horrible start. Okay. Wait. No, it has speed boost. I can't speed now. Oh god. Okay. Well. We go into panic mode, boys. Wait. Come on, Torkoal. Be the tank I know you were meant to be. What the fuck? You tanked the shit out of that! Oh yeah, shockingly, my Feramosa just was not a- I'm sorry, that my, my Primarita was just not, like, at all affected by it. it like, I, I've taken two close combats now, and I'm still, like, a third of my health. Arceus! Huh? That's right, I forgot an Arceus bug. Oh, Arceus. <laughs> okay, well, okay, this thing, literally, I don't remember what it has. This thing can have anything. I almost want to save you. Wait, what use on you? Wait, what? What did it use on you? Nothing, it switched into it. Oh. Okay, I think I do have to potentially sacrifice Buckle here for the rest of the fight. Yeah. Yeah, no, actually, okay. Oh, I could have gone Aerodactyl, I just did- BRO! Torko, what the fuck, dude?! What did you just tank? What the fuck? It just tanked an earthquake after a close combat from- What the fuck?! Torko just hard 1v1'd Arceus! <laughs> Torkoal is goaded? Oh my god. Okay, I don't know what the pincer is gonna want to do. It's gonna be a mega pincer, yeah. Ooh, mega pincer. Close combat. No, that actually works well. Okay, the question is how fast is mega pincer? Actually, does it matter? I think it matters. I can go you. I'm trying to outspeed God, let's go. Fair most of might be an issue. Oh, that's right, I've created an Earthquake. Yeah, that probably wasn't smart of me to set up my fire type. Knowing the one move I knew you had was Earthquake. Oh, I lived. Never mind. Mag Mortar, you're goaded, I guess. Ah. Hala Witzer! Fuck is Clawitzer weak to beside? Isn't it like it's such just a water fighting, isn't it? Uh, I don't know if it's fighting in this. I would have to. It's not in the base game. Okay. How fast is Jetsack? Uh, I'm assuming it's gonna outspeed me here. Oh, it's just water. Huh. And I'm sending out my Ampharos. Real quick. Oh! Oh, 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 that's Sethian Clawitzer. Oh. Oh, 192. Okay. Oh, what the fuck? I mean, that's cool, but what the fuck? Withdrew Clawitzer for Magnazone. Bruh. Okay. 
kill unless it is like a sash or sturdy or something. Cool. Alright. I know damn well. Fuck, what does this go? It's going to use Earthquake. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, this is bad. I think we need to keep you alive. What, what is he? Okay. I want. I need you alive for the... Okay, I think I'm just gonna have to sack you. I need I need Cinderace alive for the Magna Zone. Fuck, dude, twice I should have switched into Aerodactyl. I mean, I live with Sturdy, but it doesn't matter. What the fuck did it just hit me with? I I wasn't looking. I switched and I looked away, and then I I, I like I like a third health. What? And now it's probably random, but. What if I clip? Can I see what it used on me if I clip? This is what I call I forgot to look at the screen. Oh, I didn't for even consider seconds. that. Oh, I might have just thrown. Flash cannon. That's steel, right? Yeah. Okay. So surely that means it doesn't have earthquake. Because why would it have done that otherwise? No, Magnazone shouldn't have earthquake. Why? Magnazone can have Earthquake? It's a special attacker, so there's no real good reason to. Mm. Well, I kinda just threw then. Oops. Can we break the sturdy? Guessing I have nothing to kill this with. Extra little damage. Okay, I'm guessing it goes an electric move. Cinderace should hopefully live one hit. Holy shit, that's bad. Oh, it's a random move. Dude, I need you to click the- I need you to click drill run. Please click drill run. Please click drill run. Please click drill run. Okay, I can live with your turn. Fuck. Okay, the issue is it volts hey, with this. What type is Technoblast? No fucking clue, to be honest. Well, let's see what it does. It sounds like water based on the bubbles. Okay, well, it's super effective against me. I have to hope this kills. Okay, well, there goes my answer to Magnazone. Okay. What the fuck is- what- what is that move?! I've never heard of that move ever! Did I suck? Okay. Mm -hmm. NORMAL! Wait, then how the fuck- Oh, type what? changes depending on the drive held. Okay, okay well, what fucking- Alright, well, hold on, then what's camera up to week 2, because I can de determine based on that. Okay, hang on, i am got to reset- I lost, I'm gonna do my push-ups, one sec. Mm-hmm. I think I'm just gonna make some mild tweaks here, and I think we should be good. There was no issue with water. There's no point in you being scarf. Um, what do we want to give you then? I don't know if we want to even risk the choice on you. Maybe it's just life orb, yeah. Okay. Does Mega Aerodactyl look like it outspeeds Faramosa? 150 versus 151? No, it does not. Okay. Um. Okay, we're just gonna. We're in cheap here. 
crap sheet. We're just gonna give it the mm -hmm. fairy that resists ice moves because then I don't think it'll kill. And then we know that Fairmosa will most likely U turn. You're a bitch! <laughs> Sorry, Aura Sphere's fighting, right? Aura Sphere, yeah. Okay. Uh, Dark Pulse made me flinch. Rip. Focus sash on the Quoitzer. Let me think. What is what is good for this to you turn into, and what is bad for this to you turn into for me? So I could either dual wing beat or earthquake. Dual wing beat is probably the better option, but we risk it going what? Genesect, Magma Zone. I think that's it. I don't know if it has a good reason to fuck it. We ball. Damn it, Genesect. Does it download Spatak? Oh, it is neutral. Okay, hang on. What's Genesec speed? 99. I don't think that's a good call to stay in. Go for 100. Yeah, it should have speed. Don't know what it's going to go for. Here's the issue. Um. Nothing is here. We just have to risk something. Ooh. I'll show you a life orb. The question is, does it have ground move? I think I, if, if I'm gonna sack anything, I think Torkoal unfortunately has to be the one. Oh, U turns. Let's fucking go. Okay, and with Fire Knowledge, we can actually get out of this because it should Earthquake now. Oh, wait, I, th I forgot. Does I think this Pinsir has Air Late, right? Uh, yes, it does. I didn't even consider that for some reason, but yes. Um, so that means extreme speed is flying. Yes. Which is. I was like, oh, yeah, extreme busted. speed is normal, and then I've. Oh, and it crit me. Yeah, of course you crit me. <laughs> okay, I guess I'm gonna assume this thing is gonna volt switch. Oh, fuck. Rocket have been quad effective. I didn't think that one through. Oh. Do we want to take the bolt switch? We do this. I bait out Arceus because of Earthquake. Oh, it just Thunderbolts in? Unfortunately, we're losing our sturdy, but... Oh. Huh. I formed. Babe, Bugsy gave us a pincer. That... Good for him. That does a lot of damage without life form. Oh, it's got perfect IVs. Oh. Hmm. It um, has Mega Horn, Extreme Speed, Close Combat, and Sword Stance. I'm pretty sure that's just the moveset of, like, the pincer he has. What? Okay, this is gonna now go Aura Sphere. I do like the idea that he just, like, fucked up so bad that he just gives us his pincer and then leaves. What? A 97 speed. Oh god, that's risky. I can pray that Salamence outspeeds... I don't think we can check our ivies. Okay, we're gonna do something dumb here. I'm gonna. Ooh. 
Uh, I'm gonna go on Pokemon DB and see how close I am to my max speed. 28 is our max. Um... Is regular Quietzer also 97 speed? No. Hey babe, you know any Pokemon that are 97 speed? <laughs> Um, 97 speed? Yeah. Uh, I know there is a lot of 100 speed Pokemon. No, that's fine. Like Chiyu. You should use Chiyu on your team, me thinks. You think I should use the Pokemon that's not in the game? Yeah, basically. Why do you know that's 100 speed? Everyone knows about Chiyu's stats. <laughs> Okay, that did a lot. Um... However, it makes up for it by uh, having a, a Spatak of 135 and no HP in Dolia. A mere 55. I've only taken out one Pokemon? Fuck. Oh god, what do you do here? You probably want an Ice Beam, don't you? Do we need Magnezone for anything? Not really. I assume it Ice Beam's limited at close combat. Or U turns. Okay, you're gonna want a close combat. I have to look at what Mega Pincer's speed is in a sec. I think Cinderace can out. Oh no, but it's gonna have extreme speed. Extreme speed is scary. Typhlosion lived, but I need Typhlosion at full health. I feel like as a backup. How bulky is this? How bulky is Mega Pinsir? Uh, 120 now. It's 105 speed. It's actually really fast. Sin. Oh my god, I can't. That's Chinchino. Nice try, me. Cinderace. 119, and I said it was. 1 something? 105. Okay, I should have speed, but it's gonna probably. Speed. I just gotta hope I live this. I might have to rebuild. Actually, yeah, or yeah. Yeah, easy. I knew that was gonna happen. Or see us out speeds and it's a random move. I can sucker punch. Ah, oh, it's so close. Okay, that's fine. Means we go Aerodactyl. Might go Magnazone, but I can't risk it. I had to play that safe. Let's get Drought up. What does it go here? Magnazone. I hope I can take one of these, right? Please? Oh my god, I've had so many close calls this match. Okay, Torko's dead next turn. It has Feramosa left, which kills Aerodactyl. Aerodactyl. Oh, 
Oh no, I'm gonna lose just barely, I think. Okay, so if that's the wolf, that must be water drive. Oh my god, I just barely lose. Because it, because of the sash, I don't think I've damaged. Oh, I'm just barely gonna lose this. I, unless this can burn, that's like literally the only way I win. Oh, oh, that move only works it. Okay, well, I learned something new. I guess I can only use that move once. What move? Burn up. The fact that I live that actually meant that I might have had a chance, unfortunately. Oh well. Well, the more you learn. Wait, but it says the it says the type would re your type would revert back to its default when it's switched out. So I didn't switch out though. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Burn up uh, removes your fire typing once you use it. Well, yeah, but it also prevents you from using the move again, which I did not realize. Wait, what? I lived. Oh yeah. I lived. Let's go. Oh. Good job. Oh, more you know. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. I wasn't worried at all. Why would I be worried? Yeah, it's to be expected, I guess. Yeah, obviously it was to be expected. I knew that. I knew the Feramosa wouldn't kill me. Hey, even with Arceus, I stood no chance. Perhaps adding in more Pokemon to cover my bug's weaknesses could go a long way. But I wouldn't feel true to myself doing that. It's such a conundrum. But for that fight, I want you to have this. The bug Inium Z. Oh yeah, I forgot that was even a thing. <laughs> We get bug moves. Z moves are powerful, but I doubt you'll find too much use out of Buginium Z. Even I'm aware bug isn't really the greatest offensive typing. I'm sure you'll find a way to make it work. My pincer I have is specially trained with one with extreme speed. Pretty insane with area light. Here, you can try it too. Yeah, but is it EV train? Well, I'll be doing more soul searching elsewhere. See you later. Yeah, but is it like, is it EV trained? Hang on, I gotta check if it's EV trained. If it's EV trained, uh, then I'll just replace the pincer I have. It's not, okay. I'll just stick to the one I have. Wait, do I even have a pincer? Wait, hold on, no I don't. I just have the hair across. Okay, I'll put this in the box of things to EV train. And then I will, we got that double battle coming up in a sec. Oh yeah, here's yeah, probably switch out my team for yep Whew. i mean i think i played that absolutely flawlessly <laughs> oh yeah no issues there <laughs> oh god honestly funny enough i think pincer would end up being really good for the next fight Wait, oh, because it looks like they're fighting guys. Yeah, yeah. It's having extreme speed area light. Would be strong. Oh, yeah. What? Flying good against... Also, Torkoal always manages to surprise me with just how fucking good it is. Torkoal is good in... Okay, what do I feel like bringing to this fight? I think I wanted to bring a few things that I hadn't used quite as much. You... Good here. You... I'm gonna actually bring you...
Why are the guys having an emergency meeting? What? I just look over in the voice chat, it's called the emergency meeting, and, I, and, and Amani is like trying to ping Isaiah. Oh. <laughs> Damn, there must be an emergency in the meeting. Yeah, probably. Dun 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 dun. Are you ready? Almost. Sorry. I'm gonna put you back on my second monitor. Give you the wise glasses, give you the muscle bag, and I will give you the choice scarf. And I'm going to lead with Spirit Tomb and Crocodile, because I'll get the Intimidate off and then just immediately switch into Ghost. The Chandelure, because I'm assuming... Ah, oh, that's the wrong team, Jesus Christ. I scared myself. Um, I'm assuming that they will try to attack it with fighting moves, and then I just go Ghost Dike. Okay. Save is done. I'm going in. Okay. Every morning before breakfast, I swim around this island. Is this a single battle wait? Bro. Bro, why? Why? Why do you do this to me? It's just a single battle! Well, that's mean. Scarfed? Did you crit me? That's what it, it. Either it's scarfed or. No! Mindalure is slower than I think it is. Okay, well, I need to know what I'm, I'm up against with this. You are. 110 speed, 125 attack. Fire ground, rock hit early bird. Okay. Assuming it's gonna want to go ground. Actually, it could go anything. It's gonna outspeed me. Um. Perfect. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Not perfect. Fucking burn. Oh my god, I just got scammed. What happened? I got burned and it lived with red HP because of it. From a flare blitz. Oh. Um, Assuming. You should outspeed. Oh, that works. That doesn't work. Fuck me. Okay. You turn. Nah. It got so scared of my water move. You have leftover. Oh, I crit. <laughs> okay. 
What's up, you beautiful bastards? Not much, not much. I'm just... Just fighting the guy. <laughs> That's about it. Quake! Your earthquake means nothing to me, Dodrio. What? I lied, I almost died, but you know, that's okay. That's not good. Your yeah, it has like a 125 oh. base attack. Pretty damn good. Jesus Christ. Yeah, and it's like 110 speed. What the hell? Of course, I get to face that. Dress appropriately for battle. Lose that frivolous outfit. Are you calling me slutty? What the, what's your fucking problem? Yeah, that's, you're a child. <sighs> oh, my thing's voice is lower because it's on low HP. I'm so sorry. Oh, you're gonna earthquake. Okay, that works. Moxie! Oh, shit. I'm like, yeah, I see no world where I come out of this, both these fights at full health, or with alive. Which is funny, because I ran into this thinking it was a double battle, but it's not! It's not. I'm like, Sword and Shield today? Shit goes hard. Shit goes hard. <laughs> no, shit goes hard, I agree. No, Sword and Shield's really fun. I've been, I've been playing that a little bit in between Radical Red streams. Get burned, stupid! Oh, Now your Earthquake really means nothing to me! Huh. Oh, that didn't really mean Tarantum is what? Rock Dragon? Yeah. Rock yeah. Dragon these- <laughs> That doesn't make any sense! <laughs> Rock Dragon <laughs> First off, what does this want to go for? Knock off. Okay. Okay, well, the lack of left. Oh, you have a focus sash? Suck my nuts, dude. Damn. You're gonna head smash me? Bro. Please don't get paralyzed, thank god. If okay. you're gonna give me head, at least take me to dinner first. Ha <laughs> Wants to go facade. Oh. That helps me. Have actually went chandelure that was down on me, but oh well. Oh, by the way, next trainer has a mega meta cham. Beware. Okay. <laughs> Penis blast. I win. No. Oh. Like the fuck, Ember Spa. Yeah, it could be worse. I'm gonna save here real quick, and then I'm gonna turn into your stream, and then I'm gonna go let my dogs out while you're finishing this fight up. Wait, does it have like rock head or something? Seven into Drio. Yeah, that's one of its abilities. Uh, nothing here is gonna be good. Uncle Dirk could have Mach Punch. But if I switch and it goes poorly, I just lose him on. I think I just gotta go for the Earthquake. Fuck. I should've known. Can I live one? Probably not even. That's really fucking bad. I needed to not have that happen. I should've just, I should've just risked sacking Chandelure. You just wait until exactly 2031, like Pokemon community decides they were too harsh on- Oh yeah, it's 100% gonna happen, and every we all know it! 
They're just gonna 180 on it at some point. They'd be like, oh yeah, it was underrated. It was underrated masterpiece. I mean, it happened with Black and White. It happened with the Gen 6 games to some extent. Anyway, I'm screwed here. I'm probably gonna have to reset, but maybe I can make something happen. I just, I only have three mons. I wonder what this is gonna wanna go for. A horn, okay. From Bridget, we know it as Moxie. Yeah, I'm dead after one more hit. <laughs> um. I don't think I have a choice here. Alrighty, I'm gonna let my dogs out. <laughs> what happens are you calling in advance? I'll do my best! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That was my Discord. Oh fuck, what do I do here? Um... I can dollize it, try to live, and then I get the regenerator. I just don't know what it's gonna use. Fuck it, I think we have to dollize. I'm pretty sure I'm screwed here. Okay. Perfect. I have regenerator. I'm not preparing. What does this want to use against me? I'm worried it has like a steel move. I. Not a chance. Fuck it. We go with you. I have to. They'll do the same shit with BDSP too. Oh yeah, I know for sure. People are like way over trash talk BDSP. I mean, it has its little problems, but it's not that absurd. Okay. I just wants to head smash. Did we get the intimidate? Do we get the wish here? Fuck, we don't. Do this then. Wait, okay. What do we do here then? Okay, doll eyes. This is this is gonna require some Okay. You know what? This is fine. It's gonna be plus six speed, but it outspeeds both of us anyway. I'm fine with this. gonna be a loop for a sec. I think I'd take one more. This is so risky. Very normal fuck. Yeah, very normal. I get healed here. Does he get healed or is he going to perish? This is just me fighting for my life. Wait. Wait. 
I don't think I'm gonna get out of this alive. It, okay, the question is, is it locked into it? I think, okay, so that must be choice. I think I'm dead here. Oh, I get that. I think if anything is gonna die, it's gotta be the spirit tomb. I'm like not able to do any damage is the issue. to go down here. Yeah, no, it's GG here. Of course, it just ran out of head smashes. Oh my god, I lived? What the fuck? Oh, hell yeah, let's wait, go. Wait, 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 wait. Can I make this work? Oh, it's not out of- okay. I just was pranked. I think it picked a random move. Okay, we gotta hope for the love of god that it just closed combats again. That's like our only chance here, I think. That did nothing. Hey, hold up. Hold up. I think we gotta risk this here. Please don't kill me. Okay. Now locked into that. Oh fuck. Okay, I think as long as it doesn't crit. Okay. Okay, we just got it's gonna eventually run out of PP. It's choice. Minus one, I think we go back into you. Okay. We go back, we get it to minus two, we get the regenerator, so we get extra health back. Gotta be almost out of Mega Horns.
Okay, he's out of the Mega Horns. This thing might go for a fighting move just because it's stab. Hopefully this is a I think this is a physical attacker, right? Let's go. And because of our generator, we're getting pretty good on health here. We can lower its attack now. Okay. Um, I'm guessing at close combats, we're full health. We'll get the Intimidate off. Then it'll get locked into it, and that'll force it to switch into... Yes, okay, now it's probably going to go Metacham, right? Okay. Huge. We're back to full health now. Okay, how much does that do? We can live that? Okay. Maybe we just hyper voice. I think I can take one, right? Right, right, right? Fuck, okay, okay, it's fine, it's fine. I think it's fine. I hope it's fine. I pray to God that it's fine. We get the Intimidate off. Hope the Sucker Punch kills. Okay. That's bad. That's really bad. I think we lose here. No, a crit. No! Oh my god, after all of that! One that misread! Is, Fuck! That is genuinely unfortunate. Damn it. Oh, I should have switched to the Spirit Tomb there. I didn't think it would be able to kill me, but it was a Mega, I should have expected that. Fuck! Oh well. Unlucky. Okay, I'm gonna reset. Do my push-ups. Okay. I can plan around this a little better. Out of curiosity, I think I want to change Hyper Voice. Yeah, I gotta change Hyper Voice off. I gotta make changes to Mega Audino. It needs to be a better move. Actually, let me see what I can have on it. I can give it Moonblast. All Mind is just not... It's, it doesn't get anywhere to do that. So I want to give it Protect. Because that way I can actually make the most of my um, wishes. Okay, um... Granite? Or, not sorry. Uh, let me think. So it leads with... Oh god, it's been like an hour since I fucking fought the first guy. Um... He has the Pearl Pass, he has the... <laughs> Fuck, what did he lead with? Uh, he has Suing Decidueye. Suing Decidueye. First guy? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
I think I can take on the same fight. You're leading with Crocodile for suing Decidueye that's gonna lead with a Woodhammer? Yeah. Why? We'll see. Okay. Have some patience. No. <laughs> I didn't just go through 20 minutes of switch fodder for for me to not know how to play Pokemon. Oh, you intimidate. I see. Let's go to Woodhammer so you go into not effective. Oh. It's choice. <laughs> I didn't realize it was good. Oh, it's choice? That's wild. I think it was probably a 50-50 between that and Woodhammer, but either way, it would have been a decent play. That was like the super optimal one. Okay. Where I had some issues last time. I'm gonna go for Earthquake, isn't it? Wait, what? Yeah, well, yeah it's gonna, go, gonna for go for Earthquake, but the issue is what do I... What is Scoosh? I can't see. Oh, it's uh, Zoomerill. Last time it, it did, yeah, I was doing some reach. Yeah, actually, okay, fuck it. I'm just gonna take the rest. I think it flare blitzed me last time. I think I can take a hit. I was saying, you remember that 2017 Let's Go reveal just after BDSP released, people hated it, Let's Go, and now suddenly it went back. Jesus. Yeah, people are inconsistent. I mean, I wasn't paying a super close attention at the time, but I'm not surprised. Oh, boy. Assuming I'm just gonna get paralyzed, but there's not much I can do here about that. Bit unlucky there. This thing can't really do much damage to me. Okay. Yeah, it really wants to power jam. I don't think I have anything that's that safe of a switch, unfortunately. I mean, I could go on Dino, but... I don't really want to risk it unnecessarily. Yeah, so the 1v1 with the Provo Pass is a bit slow. Yeah. But... I gotta do what's safest. Well, playing it safe is playing it smart. Because I'm doing two back-to-back -back fights. No. <laughs> Partially just because I'm stubborn. I get it. I'm gonna risk another turn on paralysis just to make sure I have as much health as I possibly can.
We know it's gonna want to go knock off. I'm not just staying. I get the leech seat. Lucky. God dang it, I got paralyzed. Rip. I was playing a risky <laughs> game, I'm guessing I'm dead here, right? Yeah. Oh well. Um, we're just gonna play this safe then. You're catching Zamazenta in a premier ball, Pog. And getting Adam and Nature. Pog again, uh, two. Pog two. <laughs> Pog two! Sorry. No, you're good. I actually don't know what this is gonna want to go here. Probably knock off. Assume. This. No way it doesn't go a fighting move here. I should be able to finally take it out. Okay, we only lost one team in. Everything else is going to be pretty good on HP. And then we still have the Crocodile lead for the Heracross, which will bait the move. <gasps> gasp! Gasp! Dress appropriately for battle. <laughs> okay, so this is gonna be either uh, Mega Horn or Close Combat, preferably Close Combat. Perfect, because now it guarantees a switch. Probably into Tyrantrum. Or it's just not gonna switch? Okay! Sure. We probably still want Chandelure for Metacham. Why did it go into Metacham now? Does Metacham outspeed me? A hundred, it does. I'm like 99% sure. Yeah, it definitely does. So... What would it be going for here? Maybe a dark move? I'm gonna go for a fighting move. You try switching into Crooked Isle. Get the get Intimidate off. Oh, and for Zen Headbutt. Okay, now it definitely wants to go for the fighting move, unless it switches to Tyrantrum. Nah, okay. That was kind of cool. Let me take him. We still have the ghost type. I think we go okay, we go for toxic. That is a bit scary. But we do have a little bit of protect on our side. Just get the sucker punch damage. I'm probably dead, but that's fine. We still have the ghost type. And a dark type, actually, for that matter. Okay, and this is when we just go at Dino, Mega Evolve, and Protect. Oh, 
close combat, damn. I ran true? I'm assuming it goes close combat as well. I'm just gonna hit it with. Oh, I'm gonna get faked out. Okay. How much does that do? You know, let's confirm what it's doing here. Let's make this smart. A lot of close combat, so we go Chandelure. And then it's probably gonna go Zen Headbutt again. So we go into Crocodile, get the Intimidate off. Okay, most likely goes Fighting again. I think we just do one more loop to Chandelure to Crocodile, and then we can go to Odino. Or we could just start damaging it at that point. We also got Aqua Jet as a backup. Yeah, okay, I think we're in a spot that I can just attack it. A small chance I live this. No. <laughs> That's fine. It's lower defenses. We can just try to go for the Aqua Jet. If that doesn't work, we still have Ladino and Chandelure, so. That was Aqua Tail. I saw Aqua. I get it. My brain does not work. Well, it's minus two. And we've also intimidated twice. It's a neutral close combat. Odds are we can just blast it, right? Right? It somehow kills me. Oh, yeah, we're fine. Okay, well, I could have avoided the Azumarill faint, sorry, buddy, but other than that, that went much smoother. Why me? Because I clearly hate you in particular. I'm gonna do a quick teammate switch out, I think. Okay. I might take a bath and drink break and then I will be ready. Uh... I am gonna switch, I need something offensive. Maybe I do just run this lineup. Fuck it. Cause I, like, hang on. This is what? Kinda slow and bulky, slow and bulky, slow and bulky, slow and bulky, not fast enough. I mean, I could run Rados over you, but I would have the fire type. A little bulkier. I just, too many of the Pokemon I haven't used are just slow and bulky. Yeah, I get it. Here, I'm gonna go deal with the barking. Okay, I'm gonna go bathroom and then I'll be ready to keep going. Oh, you already finished the fight? Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay. I'm gonna go bathroom real quick, so be right back.
Um, looks like Bridget is not quite here yet. I'm gonna use this as a quick excuse to actually just power or EV train this pincer. Because it is literally super fast now. Um, so we want... Our... We'll start with our bracer. Real quick, let me look up pincer and mega pincer in this game. Uh, it's 85 speed normally and 105 speed. I think we just do speed and attack, even if we're gonna have extreme speed on it. Because of aerial light. Um... Let me look here. Is anything okay? This is actually not a pool of Pokemon to pull from. Let me see what EVs I can get here. We just need attack and speed. Absol is attack. Perfect. Oh, crap. Um, you. That should be that. And now we need speed because once you beat the game, you get the super fast EV training. I will take. Okay, and then we, let's see, Smeargle is speed. Perfect. Wow, that works out well. And that should be that, right? Wait. Fuck you. <laughs> Why was that special attack? Okay, hang on. What the f- Why was that special attack? We must have changed it for this game or something. Why was that spe- that, 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 uh, that doesn't even make sense. I think it was like HP or something, sure. Thank you. Wait, did I give him the wrong power item? I think I gave him the wrong power item. Can you just fight like any Pokemon? Hold on. Okay, now I want to test this. Since we're here anyway. Or right, hang on. I'm gonna speed up. Wee wee wee. Okay, what's something that I'm pretty sure is not speed? Bro, you could just do it on any Pokemon. And I gave him the wrong power item. Okay. Good to know. Um, golly. I think I'm gonna go get Adamant on it. Because I am still gonna use a lot of probably the extreme speed. The extreme speed, you say? Uh, yeah, I figured real quick I would EV train up Pinsir. Okay. Because it took two seconds, except I fucked up. So it turns out if you give him a power item, you can just faint any Pokemon and it maxes the EV. Oh. Um, yeah. Huh. Right, let me quickly take That's a look. That's kind of nice. Pinsir. Uh, do we want... Nah, let's get Moxie. I guess in that case, Jolly would be better now that I think about it, but... I have been gifted food. <laughs> food! What kind of food you get? Chicken taco. Oh, dang. 
Where'd you get and that from? Hear me out. Mm. I stepped up by a home from like this one nearby place. Nice. Um, because it's right up the highway. Um, and it's not, and it's like actual tacos, not like Taco Bell. What? Taco Bell is um, real tacos? What? Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. It's like soft shell. Uh, and then I also got a churro. A who now? A churro. A churro? You've never heard of a churro? No, I know what a churro. Is that, is that, is tur are churros Mexican? I guess it sounds like it would be Mexican, which is kind of on me. Technically origi uh, originating from uh, Spain and Portugal. Uh, but they made their way, uh, according to Wikipedia, they made their way to Mexico and other former Spanish colonies and settlements as well. Oh, good for it. Yeah, it's actually pretty good. good. I used to get them from Costco. <laughs> Which is That's definitely, the like, the realest churro, probably. Oh, of course. I liked them because they were, like, uh, well... a dollar, so whenever I'd go to Costco, my mom would be like, I'd be oh, like yeah. can I have a dollar and eleven cents for tax? When I get a churro. Honestly, fair. I had I had someone with Isaiah that went, uh, when I went to the concert a few weeks ago, they had like little mini ones. Ooh. You could dip it in chocolate. Ooh. Yeah, that's something I've never done. I wonder if there's a place around here you can find that sells churros. That'd be something. That'd be a fun little date. Go out and get some churros. I honestly, would. See, we're so good at coming up with date ideas that we never actually go through with. Hey, maybe we can <laughs> light the fire in your heart, Ember Spa. My birthday's coming up soon. Maybe we go there after we do our little shopping mall of getting Pokemon cards. Yeah, sure. Hmm. Okay, I'm saving, and then we can push forward. I'll see your BRB thing is still up. Oh, shoot. I Thank just you. see a shaking ass. I thought you liked that. Soaking in hot spring pools, therapeutic people say. Have a look at my face. See how smooth my skin is? The hot springs water keeps my skin younger than my age. Hot springs go hand in hand with volcanoes. They have a spa here where they made it years ago. I hewed the pool right out of a gigantic bowl to my hand. I was using this at the time. I suppose I can buy with it. Huh? You already have this. Well, perhaps you find this useful instead. Oh, wonderful. This allows you to traverse waterfalls with ease. Cool. After an honest day of training, nothing beats a relaxing soak in the hot spring pool. Bruno, who's the senior ahead of me, this is the spa on occasion. He comes to rehab injuries, both his own and his Pokemon's. Bruno, oh, this rematch? Oh, this guy over here. I did. I My hair for the bathing comes right after this. I got a bullet shatter to warm me up. I enjoy a bullet shatter to warm me up from the inside, too. That's gay. No. Here! 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 It's heavenly! The water was into my car! You should jump in, too! Go into the middle, relax, and get it good and warm. Oh, yeah, that's right. This does heal you. That's just in the vanilla game. <laughs> that's so cool. Pokemon in here. Are there? No, okay. Well, we learned so much from this location. Oh, I'm going to save. That's it. And I'm going to talk to this woman. Okay. I'm sure this... I forgot how hard, is to, eat hard sh to eat soft shell tacos. Holy moly. <laughs> what? Wait, why? What? <laughs> it just falls apart really oh, easily. Oh, yeah. Okay, fair enough. Could you help me out with my training? Only if you promise to lose Sharon. Of course, of course it's a fighting type. Lead. Why wouldn't it be a fighting type? She looked like a fighting type trainer. What'd you expect? Okay, well, a man can dream. Buy my avocado! That's <laughs> uh, poison move incoming. You dropped my avocado! No! I I'm dropped your avocado! Far. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what? Mega Glade. Ooh. Uh-oh, no. 
No, that is a wee bit, wee bit scary, eh? And it's probably about to come out. Well, actually, maybe it won't. Okay, it crit me and I just barely managed to live. Oh. Why? Why would you do this game? I don't think I outspeed, even with the choice. I have no idea what that said that I was going to switch into, so I'm just going to switch into you. 35. 92. Mm. Uh oh. Nah, this is too close. If I don't, I, it probably outspeeds because it probably has perfect IVs. What the fuck does this go for? Maybe it goes for a fighting move? Earthquake. It might just kill me. Ow. Oh. I took that really well, actually. Well, I'm not living that. Okay, so it doesn't have a fighting move, most likely. So it has Earthquake and Flare Blitz. Yeah, I can live this. Okay, well, I can't live that, but that's okay. I don't want to live it anyway. Humph! Slowly just gonna damage itself. Oh. Huh. You have flash fire on you by any chance? No. Okay. Mm. Don't hit Aqua Tail, hit Aqua Jet. Oh, you, oh wait, oh you go back to the spot to heal. Not. Yeah. Honestly, fairly smart. Stand. I'm probably dead here. Oh, it's gonna thunder punch. No psycho god? Oh, okay. I don't think I live, but I can damn well hope. Oh, I lived! Yippee! Dude, Azumarill is actually doing pretty good right now. Yeah, Azumarill's good. I say oh, that like, yeah, it. like I don't expect Azumarill to be pretty good. I could also use the priority move. Nah. But uh, I was the faster priority move. So true. That has to be a crit. Yeah, okay. Avocado does not like staying. <laughs> I'm gonna be another sec here. I've learned it's best to play it safe. <laughs> and by that I mean I'm playing it really fucking safe.
You do a wonderful. Thank you, honey bunches of oats. I'm just kind of watching from a distance. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna go heal in the spa and then I'm. I know I could be how hungry I was, so I started eating these tacos. What's that? Which is crazy! I had a- I had dinner! And I had a snack! Oh jeez. Am I like eating for two? Do I have a tape <laughs> Yeah, I mean I probably generally just don't eat that much. By comparison. I actually don't either, is the funny part. What? Just having a hungry Have day? You I've been having a hungry, like, month. I think it's because it's winter. Maybe. Oh, yeah, it could just be the general, like, body being like, It's winter, put on a little extra weight or you'll be cold. Yeah, basically. Am I really gonna leave? Fuck it, I'm leaving the crooked eye again, aren't I? In, a in the water? Seen from here, Mount Ember towers into the sky. What are you say, Finn? Well, oh, it's, it's not overflow. actually a water type. Probably is a water move. You fucker. You think you're hot shit with your intimidate? Okay. Unfortunately. Okay. Oh, that did not do enough. Okay. Um, I don't think this ends well. You're about to shell smash on me, aren't you? I don't like these poison spikes being out. Yeah, I feel that. I'm just gonna have to wipe with Altaria. <laughs> I'm seeing cloisters on me. Destiny Bond! That fairy. Oh. This thing kills me. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. We got ourselves a Dynamax Dreadnought, folks. Ooh. Okay, hang on. I gotta quickly look up what Jawlock does, because I genuinely don't know. I think it prevents it you from jaw switching. Moves? Wait, what? Does it not boost jaw moves? Uh, it's a move. Hang on. Mm. You're thinking of. I don't know. Okay, it's a fighting move. These are bites down, preventing the target from switching out. Okay, so fighting move. Got it. Hmm. It better do the same thing again. Please do the same thing again and don't, like, change it. Oh, thank god. If it doesn't kill, it'll at least do a lot of damage. Why did it do so much?! Mega. I don't like that. Okay, I'm not as hungry as I thought because I'm going to save this last taco for lunch tomorrow, I think. Water it is chalak. Probably is a nice move. <laughs> oh I could I could have just switched in my Um uh, Whatchamacallit, my Lotic. Because it resists um poison, I think. 
Oh, no, ground types can still get poisoned, I think, oh, right? You're fighting in this? No, oh, you're not rock type. That's why that didn't kill. Oh. I just realized that now. I didn't even realize until you said it. You're welcome. But well, thank you. Very risky, dumb. Do I want to keep this for later? What do I have to deal with? Cloister, air, you said air, Skuda, and, and it could kind of work against Overquill, but not really. I think I just take the L here. I go down. Ow, oh, okay, okay. I'm so glad I didn't hit Aqua Jet there. This might actually. Oh, it probably. Does it have a white herb? If it has a white herb, we're in trouble, actually. Done. Okay. Oh, thank god, it just, like, threw. Ca Did you take out Shell. Uh, Cloister yet? No, about to. Okay, be careful to Shell Smash. Mm hmm. I have no clue if you outspeed me. I'm just gonna take the Aqua Jet damage. Why are churros so good? <laughs> I'm like, it has a sash! Oh, it does. I didn't know that. Mm hmm. I was like, no, cuss that berry! What's it gonna hit me with? A second layer of toxic spikes. <laughs> I was I was so concerned for just a second there. That I was about to get like wrecked by a water move. I have to outspeed, right? Okay. Barrasquita is like deceptively fast. Not gonna kill, I don't think, but it at least do good damage. Mm. Okay. And we could just go into Spirit Tomb, Sucker Punch, and bada bing bada boom, Mr. Worldwide is gonna enter the room. Whew. It hit five times on Rock Blast? That's e there's it's uh, cheating. No, that's its ability, it is skill link, so those moves always hit five times. Oh well I'm just dead then. Now, Cloyster's pretty fucking insane because of that ability and Shell Smash. Well, I just wiped. That's cool. Rip. Did you win or no? I did. <coughs> oh yeah, this could do a priority move. <laughs> and I was just lucky that the Cloyster had taken... Okay, so I, I had hit it when it switched in, and then it switched out at some point, and then when it switched in, it Shell Smashed, and I was able to just take it out because of the defense drop. Mm-hmm. Um, so, I guess in the meantime, I will just dick around and EV train a couple Pokemon. <laughs> mm hmm. Oh, I was gonna say, if you bring a poison Pokemon, it gets rid of toxic spikes. Okay. So, yeah, like Venusaur, Drapion's probably good here. Or even Arbok. I wonder if Crobat works given its flying type. It probably would? Mm. I'm just gonna do Arbok just in case. Yeah. The Intimidate never hurts either.
nuts. I think with the churros, it also helps because apparently when we ordered them, they were freshly fried, so. Ooh. Oh, I think we just do speed in it. Oh, wait, I didn't just do it. Okay. I keep eyeballing the legendaries. <laughs> Being like, ooh, Eevee train, and then I'm like, no, I shouldn't. Aww. I figure when we do that challenge run, I, I, I thought of a couple of rules to let us use a couple legendaries. Okay. So, I figure that I can at least use a few decent ones. Already moved faster than me. Why'd you need that berry? Understand it, you need lots and lots of Good. of stuff. Don't shoot shell smash at me. What? Don't mess with me. If you kill Slim Jim, I gotta I gotta Zoomerill with a priority move. Ooh, that's a threat. <laughs> mm-hmm. I wonder if this game has, um, like an Elite Four rematch. I kind of feel like it Maybe. won't, but... I had to make sure I didn't pull the same move you did. Oh god, yeah, yeah, Aqua Tail and Aqua Jet. Not too damn similar. What the fuck am I Eevee training Gudra in? Or Hisui and Gudra at that? H. It's almost 11 o'clock already. Yeah. You know what? Let's do defense and HP. I know, time flies playing this game. Oh yeah. Even when you you have to deal with you stalling, me stalling, not you, you as in me. <laughs> Both of us are stalling at some point today, if we're being honest. Why would you do to stall? Well, you know, whenever you were fighting that one trainer, I, I tutored to your stream. Okay, well that was you stalling think... for me, stalling in the battle, I more so meant. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what you mean now, hold on, what? Me stalling a bunch in the battle by switching back and forth a ton to make the fight take forever is what I meant, mainly. Oh. Okay, I thought you meant, like, stalling for time, and I'm like, um, I think I did an equal No, you did a thing. lot more stalling for time, I did a lot more stalling in mm -hmm. battle. Yes, let me train more Pokemon that I will never have the time to use. 
I just do full attack for you. Actually, a pretty good stat. Oh, aren't you tough? Oh, do you win? Yep. Okay, then I will hold off on this Pokemon. Let me just get my team back in order. I do like that my team right now is just like... It, I have a main six, and then whenever I'm struggling, I switch out for a random thing in my team box. Has, has, has there been anything that you have yet to uh, use that I've been EV trained? I have no idea, but also it's almost 11 p.m., so it'd probably be better if we started tomorrow with that. Fair enough, fair enough. Because I don't know how much further we're going to go tonight. Tiny bit, I think. We'll go for like 10, 15 minutes. Okay. Yeah, we got tomorrow as well. And tomorrow I should only do like 15 minutes of getting things to level 100. <laughs> as opposed to an hour. With you again. The weather's gorgeous. Perfect for a battle. A hubba hubba. Burger King foot. Lettuce. No, just the Burger King foot. Burger King foot. Six foot. Big foot. Good foot. Red foot. Two foot. One foot. Blue foot. Okay. The Inteleon lead. Uh, not quite a... Hidden power! Gotta have Ice Beam. Hell, I have no idea what hidden power that was. That could be anything. Oh, yeah. Hidden power, nothing. Snipe shot. Critical hit. For me? Bascaligione! What does this thing have that it wants to hit me? Fang, maybe? I want to save you for now. Um, can't imagine it's gonna go water move. Okay, I'm taking the gamble. It's probably special. It's got a love orb. Fuck it, flip turned. God damn it. Can I live one? Probably not. Oh, I did. Thank God for the intimidate. Okay, yep. Yeah. The life orb. No idea what we're changing into, so I'm just gonna stay in. Dragulge. This is not gonna go well. I'm doing a lot of switching and not a lot of leaving. Are you gonna go back to. I don't know, it's gonna go back to back to. Okay. Fuckers. They're like, I'm gonna go on a U turn flip turn loop. Did you like her? Uh, yeah, they were good. I got one I'm saving for lunch. The chicken's a little different, though. I yeah. like mine shredded, not chopped. Seems fine, though. It was though. okay when I got it last time. Yeah. You tried the churro? It was good. Was it a really, was it a good, was it a churro churro? It was churro churro. Okay. Puppies are, she's in the kitchen, freelancing. No, she's on the couch. Alrighty. I'm going to bed. Sounds good. I'll Super. Alrighty. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Okay. 
Oh, now I have three things weak to poison, which is not ideal. this to one shot. It will. Alright, given its history, I'm going to assume that this flip turns. I assume it goes back into... I don't know, it went Starmie this time. Okay. Right out the gate with the Hydro Pump, eh? Oh, another Life Orb! Okay, so I was two Hydro Pump PP. That's three PP. Okay, we ball. Let's go. Yeah, it's bead. Mm. Okay. I feel like this is feasibly a U turn. Turn, so I am just gonna moon blast. That doesn't do too much to me. Okay. We should be able to win. Yeah, it's just caught in a cycle of flip turn, U turn, flip turn, U turn, and none of it does any damage to Odino. Well, it's just because you're so smart. Uh oh. Hey, what if this guy had six magic harp? Yeah. I'm pretty sure we're almost to the like next area. Okay. Um, Once we get to the end of this river and get to that new area, we'll stop for the night. Yeah, I think that's the goal. Hopefully just like one or two more fights. Hey! Uh, I'm just gonna heal. File. Okay. We do a save! I am gonna talk to him. Wait, wait a second, I think I have hooked a big one! Okay, so he's gonna yeah, have a wishy-washy. He's gonna have a what? He's gonna have a wishy-washy. Oh, it's a double battle shit. Oh, frick. Oh god, no, 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 no! <laughs> this could be oh, no. worse! I have just water Pokemon! No. Okay, wait. You know what? Fuck it. 
We vault. We vault. And you think the scary dust is gonna mega evolve? I'm, I'm gonna moon blast it in anticipation, and then I'm going to energy ball. You. Oh, you dragon dance. Uh oh. Oh, that's my good, Yeah. Please take this basket region out. I need this. I need this. I need this. I need this. Oh, that health is going way too slow. <laughs> it's surged! Okay, I went for Appleton. Come on. Damn. Come on, live one. There's no way you live one, but live one. Oh my god, I lived I one. Five. trade that's perfectly acceptable. We're lucky Gyarados Ice Fangs. Let's go! Okay. You're doing great. Okay, Galarian's Whoa. low bro. It's, this is definitely, once again, probably gonna Ice Fang. <clears throat> what would the slow bro go for? I might actually go for you. Let's try this. Oh wait, that was dumb. That was dumb. No wait, we're fine. We're not gonna be mega evolved, so it's not gonna be super effective. Yeah, we're minus one attack, but this should at least do good damage. Oh wait, no, the minus one doesn't matter because it's crit. That's huge. Crap. That's fine. What is slow bro? Oh, oh, it is Moxie. It does. Okay. Yeah, that's an issue. Um. Ooh. Ooh, how do we take out this Gyarados? We need to take it out. Soon. Like, we can take out the slow bro just fine, but it's. Gyarados. Okay. Okay, wait, we get the Intimidate off. That's good. Go for the extra damage. I wanna s Oh, that works. I see the slow bro is a mega. Why did you look like you seemed like hell? We just gotta keep the Gyarados in check as much as we can. Okay, it's plus one attack, plus two speed. The speed's not as big of an issue. But we just have a generally slow team. Okay, Slow Bros Calm Minding. That's fine. We can keep that in check as well. With Snarls. We are playing this risky on Audino, given we can't get health back, but I just really want to prevent Gyarados from getting too, too strong. Okay, slow bros minus one. Slow bros neutral, but plus two spell staff. Okay. Okay, we do have to switch you out. Um, Might go random move, I have to do this as opposed to Chandelure. Perfect. Ok, 
Okay, yeah, slow burst is kind of calm mind spam loop. It's good. <clears throat> okay, even, that's even better. It went from zoom real. Okay, that's unfortunate, but it works. Gyarados goes down. Slow King is gonna be super lit. Or the not Slow King, Slow Bro. This snarl finally paid off. Oh wait, I had a regenerator. Oops. There's poison, but Aqua Jack, it's, uh, it's a neutral. If it does take out me, it's fine. Perfect. Dude, Spirit Tomb just fucking hard carried this fight. Slowbro got caught in an infinite calm mind loop. <laughs> Fuck you, Tommy! Oh, no. I've lost it all again! I played that- I've perfect. lost it all again! I played perfectly, I'm the best fucking gamer. Um, okay! We made it to the island then, actually. Oh, actually? Yep. I'm gonna quickly... fly back. Um... I'm gonna go back to the, uh, to Lavender Town, I think, real quick, because I want to do the level ups when I get there. Okay. So that'll be the first thing I do tomorrow, so I'm just gonna set that up real quick, and then we'll wrap up for Alrighty, that. Alrighty, well, now that I've saved the game, I'm closing my stream. Goodbye, everybody. No. You're just like, get me out of here! <laughs> <laughs> I just figured I wouldn't wait. No, you're fine. I like how I have to do this long, dramatic outro thing, and you're just like, Okay, bye! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how it works! Well, that's well just having I'm... swagger, you should try it. <laughs> I'm just long and dramatic. Yeah. Honestly, this team's been working out pretty well for me. I'll have to see if I want to switch any of the, the bulky mons for tomorrow. Uh... These guys over here. We'll keep these six at the top. I will put some Pokemon probably in my inventory or my party with lucky eggs. He loves the egg. He loves the egg. The lucky egg. I might as well power up some of the guys that I just EV trained. Fuck it. Um, Galissa Power works. Lucario works. Oh, yeah. I'll give him lucky eggs and then I'll be in. Where? Actually, wait. Sorry, by type. Where are my L's? We're gonna play a game called Get Star You Up from level 13 to level 100. <laughs> good luck. But, um, Star Me's good. Oh, yeah. I'd like an excuse to give it a go. I forgot about there's an old uh, clay tablet from about 50, uh, 1750 BC from the old Babylonian period. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a complaint about delivery of the wrong grade of copper. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna lie, for a sec, when you said clay tablet, I thought you meant from black and white. <laughs> <laughs> Not awesome. Oh, okay, this last saving. Yeah, no, that was, uh, that was, you know, it wasn't, we didn't make it physically very far, but it still felt like a protective night. We beat Bugsy with Arceus Bug, and we yes. took out, I don't, I don't remember any of the fishermen's names, but we took them out too. 
That was pretty cray cray. <laughs> but yeah, next time I think we will explore, I think it's called Mount Ember on one island. If we're lucky, we'll get to finish that up and maybe even make our way over to Two Island. We'll see. We'll see what happens next time. But uh, yeah, that's going to wrap things up for tonight's stream. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'll be streaming again tomorrow as always. Hope to see you guys then. Thanks for watching and goodbye.